So, good evening. 안녕하세요. I hope you guys remember what I said. Mm, Arufa, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, Danishka. Yeah. Then, Anush, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, Danishka. Yeah. So, today we'll not be having the Python class, but we'll be having a dessert session. Okay, so do you guys know what uh, what does it mean, desert session? So I request all of you to on your video, okay? So I'll start, I'll start to speak if everyone on your video, okay? So yeah, Hamsini Arufa, Vaiga, okay, Pranava, Nitin, Kruti, and then what about Anush, Nitya, Kiran, Ruchita? Okay, Anush did. And then Nitya, okay. Ruchita and Kiran. You guys can only do your video, okay? Okay. And then what about... Uh, okay, okay. I'll wait for one, one more minute so that you guys can on your video. Okay, Anush and then Ruchita. Okay, we'll start. So, desert session. Today, we'll not be learning about any Python topics, but we'll just discuss, discuss and we'll get to know about each other. So, no need to be serious, okay? So, no need to be serious. All just one smile, okay? So today we'll not be learning any Python class, but we'll be just um having a discuss small discussion to know about each other. Okay, not so serious. So first we'll I'll, I want to know all of your guys' routine, like daily, how you're gonna like at what time you guys wake up and then your hobbies and about your academics and everything. Okay. So first, who will start? You can volunteer, okay? Who wanna tell me your routine? All the, it's okay. I can ask you, how was your day? Okay. So Arufa, how was your day? Yeah, so like it was pretty good. And what about yours? Ah, yeah, it was good. And then Nitya, how was your day? Yeah, it was good. It was good? Yeah. Okay. And then we have... Okay, Anush. Anush, how was your day? Yeah, yeah, on mute. Today was the first day of school. Wow, okay. So, your 8th or 7th? 8th. Okay. So you are eight. So today was your first day of school. How was it? It was nice. It was nice. Were you excited to meet your friends and teachers? Yeah. Okay. So then, Hamsini, how was your day? Yeah, it was nice. Today was the first day of the ninth standard. Oh, okay. So my school started early, like before two weeks i guess so yeah then kruti how was your day yeah it was good how was yours yeah it was good and then nitin how was your day yes it was good and uh, today we started our first sport session of the year so little special <laughs> okay so yeah i saw today and then vaiga how was your day? Even my day was good. Uh, there was nothing special, but it was good. Okay, then Pranava, how was your day? Not bad. Not bad? Why? What happened? Nothing. It was as usual. Okay, then Kiran? Kiran, can, 
okay so at what time will you go to school 9 o'clock 8:30 wow okay okay so at what time will you come back again uh, for yeah, for for o'clock okay okay yeah. okay pranava and kiran okay then so today we'll just discuss about apart from python topics okay so you guys can tell me your plans for this year like for some like for some of them your school started today right and then like most of them now they are in 10th grade so you guys can tell me if you have any plans for this year or it can be academic year as well so if you have any plans to do then you can share okay we'll start from nitya Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have uh, not done it, uh, any plans till now, but um, yeah, uh, I I will be doing in uh, future. I think uh, I think so in this week. Uh, but now I don't have any of the plans. Okay, and then um, okay, then Kriti. yeah uh, my plan is uh, my school started before 3 days and my plan is with the new hope uh, going to school and uh, should read nicely and should score nicely and uh, should be proud of my parents wow okay that's that's uh, that's good that's really good and Thank then you. yeah so you guys can tell me your routines and now uh, in the, in this meeting you know you can tell me if you guys have any technical or technical concerns it's like if you have any problem with the uh, internet connection like it's not you cannot access to internet and if there was any reason so that you couldn't attend the classes and then if you were facing any problem with this python course and you are not able to understand then you can share today okay so we have seven classes in this first level 1 course so already we completed four of them right so we have a desert meeting now so in this we can get to know each other well and also you can give your suggestions to improve our classes also okay So, Chinmay, are you there? Okay. So, so you guys can tell me your daily routines. At what time you get up and what the things you do? Okay. We'll start from Vaiga. Okay. <clears throat> so there has been a lot of changes in my routine. Okay, when I started my ten, so I say, don't be shocked or anything. I mean, like, don't think, oh, I am like this. So I wake up at five. Okay, not a big deal. I put alarm. It rings twice, thrice, and I wake up at five. And by five fifty, I mean, oh yeah, sorry, sorry, five thirty, I brush my teeth. I'll be fresh. And by six o'clock. I have to reach my tuition, and then, uh, uh, like by seven thirty or seven fifty, I'll reach home. Then whole hour I'll be just roaming here. Then in my room, I have my breakfast and my I get my uniform. And by eight thirty, I will reach my stop. Then from there I have to go to school. Then you know right what will happen in school. And after that, today what happened was actually we are first trip, but we had to come. Second trip, so it became late. So we come at first trip, and again I change my dress, I eat snacks. Again I roam here and there. I waste uh, almost a lot of time. Then I start to study, and then like by ten thirty or eleven I then same thing will be continue. Okay, thank you. So yeah, and between that. Uh okay so. now as you guys are 10th you are quite busy right like busy 
most of the time because you have a lot of things to study. Okay, then, yeah. So, Arufa, can you give me a small description about your daily routine? Yeah, so I wake up at 6. There is nothing to study, but still to be healthy, I wake up at 6 or sometimes 7.30. Then when I, after waking up, I'll brush my teeth and take bath and everything. Then one hour or half an hour, I'll be wasting my time roaming here and there. Then wearing uniform and having break, combing my hair, everything. Then having breakfast at 8 o'clock. Then sharp at 8.30, I'll leave home and go to my stop then i'll go to school then meet my friends everything talk to them and um at five or uh, at five o'clock or five five i'll be back to home then after that i'll have snacks then from seven or uh, seven o'clock i'll be i'll sit to study then two hours or something i'll sit and study then have dinner and go to sleep okay then so you are not that busy, but still um, you have a very disciplined routine. That's good to hear. So uh, Arufa, do you know which school uh, Hamsini is? No. You don't know? Okay, mm -hmm. so then Hamsini, can you introduce yourself? And you also can, you can give your... Uh, a small description about yourself, like your hobbies, so that Arufa will get to know more about you, okay? okay. I'm Hamsini. I'm from Sacred Art English Medium School, Shaniwasante, and I'm studying in ninth grade. And I have many hobbies like reading the books, story books, and singing some little, little songs, English and Kannada both. That is the hobby of me. Okay, so Hamsini, are you uh, outside somewhere? Yeah, out of my house. Backside of the house. Wow. We can see, we all can see the trees behind you. Yeah, I will show you it. It is a coffee planting. Wow, it's so good. It's so good you're there. You have a very calm surrounding around your house, right? That's good. And then, um, Pranava, do you know from which school um, Chinma is? I know. Okay. So, Chinma, okay, you can ask Chinma to introduce herself. Uh, Chinmay, can you introduce yourself? Yeah. My name is Chinmay of class 8 standard of school, Krista Jyoti School, Arkal Gur. Chinmay, what is your hobby? My hobby is for drawing, uh, singing, dancing. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, do you practice dancing? No, when there is a program, I will just watch in mobile and I will dance. Wow, you learn dancing by seeing a program? No, in I'm seeing in mobile and I will give that program. Oh. Attend that program. Okay, okay. That's that's good. So yeah. And I will I'm drawing is good. Oh, is it? Then, uh, Chinmay, do you have your own website? Website? Mm, if you didn't create, then you can contact their, like, Vaiga sister. She is in this breakout room. So, she'll help you to create your own website. And then you can upload all your drawings to your website and share the link with us, okay? So, we all can okay. see your website and we can even see your face in the website you can add your picture and also your school your school name and your hobbies and what all things you learned even your drawings so when you share the share your website link everyone can see your drawings okay yes okay you thank you can, mm, you can contact vaiga so that you can create your own website okay 
ओके या ओके एंड देन आई वांटेड टू आस्क किरण किरण आर यू देयर ओके देन नित्या यू कैन आंसर मी व्हाई डू यू वांट टू लर्न पाइथन because uh, i am interested uh, i like learning uh, new things so i like i i am uh, very interested in this coding part and all so i i love uh, coding and all so so i want to learn python and for future also that may be helpful so i want to learn python so you you love coding yeah okay so if you love coding then are you like will you prepare uh, uh, are you will you pack, practice anything at home even though if there is class or no classes then will you be practicing things uh now present uh, i'm not practicing because of now uh, i'll be going for tuitions then coming from school then everything study 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 now present i'm not doing it okay so how is your dance class going on how is your dance practice going on uh yeah it's going good and this year uh, i mean uh, next month i'll be having that uh, like junior exams and all there it will be there now so i am taking that exams so after uh, after school i will be going there every day for one hour okay so you are learning classical dance right yeah you like class the you like classical dance yeah i like classical dance and even i am a, ch a chess player oh uh, like i have attended many district level state level tournaments so i have many trophies wow like you know how to play chess as well yeah i know yeah. you even won trophies in district level competition yeah 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 okay then i think you can teach me how to play because i know how to play but i always lose whenever i play yeah, you you yeah, guide yeah. me once okay yes for sure okay and then i wanted to ask nitin and vaiga if you guys are able to manage python classes and also your studies and also if you are in any sports then i want to know if you guys are able to manage all the things together if you are facing any difficulties and then if you have any ideas or are able to manage then how are you going to manage okay so we'll start with nitin well it's a bit hard to manage all, all the things together because uh so my routine is also same as like vaiga but i don't get up early as much as her i'll get up at uh, like uh, 5:30 maybe and i also have to read the tuitions by 6:40 and uh, again at 8:20 i have to reach my home and i have to go uh, school uh, afterwards <laughs> again sports sessions and i have to come back and uh, the one more problem uh, that i can uh, i could have managed the python courses and academics both but uh, what happened is monday to wednesday is like uh, the tuitions will be in the morning and uh, from thursday to saturday uh, i'll be at evening to actually today i missed my tuition i am on leave uh, it's bit hard uh, maybe some 10 of 15 minutes like 6:45 i am comfortable attending the classes so like will you be like missing your tuitions on fridays uh, actually uh, i want to speak about this with priya ma'am uh, i'll speak with her tomorrow hmm okay sure but are you like you 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 can join the classes or not like are you facing any difficulty joining the class on fridays due to your studies uh due due to my studies no but uh, my tuition time is also same as uh, the uh, python classes uh, it starts at 5:30 and ends at uh, 6:30 it, it it takes uh, about 10 minutes to reach my home back from nanjangur 
So at least a 10 minutes, uh, I think I, I, I could join the classes after 10 minutes. Okay, so you can do that because uh, like you guys are 10, so you, you'll be having more things to study, right? And then what about Vaiga? Huh, my situation is also almost same. Like the problem is that I also want to study uh, my school things. At the same time, I also have to manage vision. So it is common for everybody. But the problem is that like when the number of classes increase and for each class also have separate assignment or something we have to do after the class. So I think I can manage, but um, even our school teachers are also, will be talking to that uh, to you also. And the problem is that most of them are around 10, like all the BGM pioneers, leaders, and most of them. So I don't know uh, how, but somehow we have to manage that. Okay, so you guys are busy, like we got to know, and even we, you told your routines, right? So you wake up very early, like by 5 a.m. Yeah, so you can concentrate on your studies as well, because even yes, it's important, right? And yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. Hey, like, we are curious to know about you. You are asking everybody's right. Can you say about yours before going to the next thing? You, your routine, your hobbies and everything. Because for us, you are a kind of like a teacher for us, right? Like we'll be curious to know how you are actually and how you're different from the actual and your classes. So. Okay, so don't say any like just everything you have to say. Every like you know, all the naughty things, all the funny things, all the routines, everything else. Okay. So I wake up at five thirty and then I'll go for cycling and then I'll come back and then get ready and go to school and then come back and then I'll practice dance and then I'll do my school works and then by I think 8 or 7 I'll have my dinner and after that I have to study right and then I'll study and then sometimes it is by 10 30 11 or you have if you if i have exams then i'll study till 12 or else if it's on normal days then till 11 and then i'll go to sleep so that's how my routine is so i'm not in that's any it. sports or something like hey, that's it that's it uh, yeah hey you will do dance right even if you want to know which dance you do you do zumba dance no, 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 no. Actually, so I practice K-pop dance. I, I don't know if you guys like. Uh, I, I, I don't know. So let me ask you, how many of you here, um, like, you know, know K-pop? You listen to K-pop. You can raise your hands. And also K-drama. Yeah, I watch. But now when school started, I stopped watching it. Because now I am 9. Before I was 8. So I can. But now I can manage time. Right? So I stopped watching it for now. But I like K-pop. And I practice K-pop dances. How many of you here will watch K-pop? Nobody? Oh my god. Even Arufa you will not watch K-pop? No. Like I usually watch K-dramas. Wow, okay. Then at least, yeah, even I watch. I used to watch, but now I stopped. But K-pop, I, I think most of the boys, they don't like K-pop, right? So I'm not sure about it. But girls, they does. So nobody's there for here. For now, nobody watches. Yeah, I do. I practice K-pop dance because I, I like it. That's my routine. So that's it. It's not that exciting. And then on Saturdays, I have Korean classes to attend, right? So I'll attend those classes. So for now, uh, I'm learning Korean with the music notes. 
you know, before I we used to learn about the vowels, consonants, and then small phrases. And now we are learning Korean with the music notes. So we have learned some songs as well. I think you guys have heard it because Arufa sang a song in on Friday, three like before, like I don't know, last class. So she sang a Korean song uh, in Friday class. So that's what we are learning for now. So that's it. So I wanted to ask. Um. Okay. So I asked about your routines now. Just a second. Anybody apart from Nitin and Vaiga, are you guys 10th? Hamsini, are you 10th? Uh, you are on mute. No, 9th. Oh, okay, okay. So, I wanted to uh, take suggestions from you guys for the online classes. Okay. So, now... Uh, all the team instructors they decide each week even on Sundays they'll have a meeting and they'll um, collect all the ideas to improve the classes right the now the learners thing and also teaching you few Korean phrases and everything so they um, discussed about it so now uh I want to ask you guys if you were the instructors, then how would you improve the classes? We'll start from Nitya. So if Nitya was the instructor, then how can you like what do you do it to improve the class? Like now it's like this. So you know our team how we are gonna teach. So if you want to still improve these classes, then what will you be doing? So Nitya, you can share. Um, so, um, uh, we, uh, like every week, uh, if everybody will be explaining so, so that everybody will be understanding the same topic as we did in last week. Uh, so if that was going uh, every week, so, um, so that was being good, uh, according to me. Okay, then Pranava, if you was the, uh, if you was a group leader, then how would you improve the classes? Uh, yeah, I think uh, we could have made a presentation uh, more creative. And I think everyone knows Canada here. If someone doesn't understand anything, we can teach in the mother tongue. Oh, okay. I never thought about it. We can try, I guess. But I think not everyone here are uh, no Kannada. And also what we'll be teaching there, what we'll be teaching. So those things, uh, even our Korean mentors have to listen, right? So only okay. then, if they understand, then they'll give the feedback. So okay. to make you guys understand, we can teach in a language which is like you know easy and comfortable for you guys to understand but we can try that if you didn't understand any topic ah, yeah I'm, I'm i'm saying that not in the conversations if someone doesn't and doesn't understand the thing which is very important or they didn't get even for a long time we could explain them in canada or the mother tongue if anyone knew. okay that's a good idea so we can We'll, I'll speak, I'll, I'll suggest this on Sunday meeting, okay? So we can try that. And then, Arufa, how can you, how would you make our team classes enjoyable and also productive if you were an instructor? Like, first of all, I used to train them uh, in a very clear manner. Like, they should be able to teach others, like my members. Then the second thing, uh, first, I'll be training them properly. Then the second, they should uh, teach others the way I taught them. Like that. Okay, then Hamsini, what would you do to improve the classes? Yeah, like uh, Arifa said that we have to teach others and they want to teach the others members in the class, it's in the class also. like. 
Okay. And then, hmm, what about Kruti? What would you do if you were an instructor to improve the classes? Yeah, what now is going on, the same thing uh, I was doing, no changes, but uh, in each and every class, uh, what uh, the instructors explain the same thing, the members need to understand that and explain. Mm. And apart from it, because we are doing it already, right? So apart from it, do you have any idea, like, you know, very creative idea where if you do that, then our classes can improve? It will also be... Uh, no, the same thing, uh, we can continue. Okay, then Nitin. Mm. If I would have been an instructor, means uh, like I'll be uh, more, uh, I'll make uh, some humorous jokes and uh, the examples which I'll be using would be some catchy, uh, which might uh, be in their uh, memories for so long times. That's the two points and nothing else. Okay, then Vaiga and after Vaiga, Kiran. So what I have, what I wish to do to improve the classes is like, uh, first thing like as everyone told, as Pranava told, we can talk in our mother tongue. I mean, I am a Malayali, but still I understand Kannada. So if anyone don't understand their language, I mean, English, as he told, we can use Kannada. And uh, as some of them told, the what we are doing right now, like students are teaching themselves, like members are teaching themselves, so we can continue it. So we are not improving that yet. So we can slowly improve in that. And now uh, also we get the dessert session, so that next time whenever you take class, you should not feel any nervousness, or you should not feel like you don't know anybody here. And then what I wish is that, uh, like for example Python course, we have to demonstrate it many times. Okay, so. Like we have many examples like through, through theory and we are also present in the screen and doing it. But I don't think like most of them understand it because sometimes even I don't understand some concepts. So um, first thing is that everyone should be confident in asking questions. So I cannot say, talk about confident too much because some of them know my real confidence. And then um, uh, what I wanted to say is that demonstrating the like Python codes again and again and getting the output and showing them like how each steps work, how everything is linked to each other. Like that. And if we give some examples where they see in their daily life, so most not all the uh, Python codes can be seen in daily life, but like some scenarios. So it's been happening, we can improve it a bit more. Yeah. And also, uh, as you told in the PPTs, uh, it's also discussing, I think uh, we can add more images than the text. Because the text, like we can give the images in the PPT and we can explain it there. So I don't think that if we like leave the uh, sentence and all, it won't be that uh, interesting to you know. Okay, that was correct. We can, you know, precise it and explain the topic step by step. I think that would help the learners who are going to teach. I think even it will help them. So if we do that, and then their teaching in the class will be effective if they understand. Because if I, when I call you guys to tell you this is your topic, then even if you think that you understood the topic completely, then that's not the thing. That is not how it works. Like you'll not, you'll not be knowing about it completely. So if you want to make others understand on Friday, then you guys have to understand first, right? So if you don't understand and then if you simply read the script which I have given, then we cannot understand properly. So from now on, you guys know learners will be the instructors, right? So you have to prepare. So you no need to uh, uh, like, you know, be awake till 11 and then practice or oh, this is my topic and everything. Just you can spend 30 minutes to understand the topic. Okay, just 30 minutes to understand the topic and how uh, the way you explain, okay? The way you explain, 
just 30 minutes and then on Friday morning you prepare and then evening you teach okay because if you simply sit and then read the script again and again then uh, just to say the same thing in the class then that will not be useful okay so you can understand first and then you can teach I told this because you guys will be the instructors on Friday right so it will be useful and then Okay, I want you guys to describe your, you know, behavior or how your attitude is in three words. For example, I will, um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll describe myself in three words or uh, how my behavior is. Like, you know, uh, short temper, like you easily, you'll get angry. And then, um... Something like that. So, you have to use three words to describe yourself. Okay? Your behavior. How you are. So, that from next time I'll know how you guys are. Or uh, while you'll be teaching on Friday. Okay? So, and then we'll start from Kruti. Yeah. Uh, my behavior mean if uh, I'll get angry uh, suddenly uh, when someone speaks to me um, harshly. Um, that's it. I don't have any other behaviors. Uh, behavior, you can describe yourself in two more words. Uh, I'll be very happy when someone uh, tells uh, something surprising topics. Uh, uh, that time I'll be very happy. And uh, other than that, nothing. Okay, then Pranava? Uh, I am uh, short tempered and I want uh, things to be perfect. If I if things are not perfect, I get angry and uh, I love to read all this. That's it. Okay, so we have many members who are short tempered in our in our team, isn't it? So <laughs> you guys. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Not in that way. Uh, up to some extent, I can control. If things go extremely wrong, especially uh, when uh, I have some projects with my uh, other students, fellow students, uh, I get angry with. So that's the thing. Yeah, and then... Uh, uh, now Pranava told. Okay. So Nitya, you can tell. Yeah. Even I am short tempered. Sometimes I get very, uh, so, uh, like, uh, most of the times with my brother, I'll get very hungry. Uh, then, then another one thing is, uh, I saw my last, last class, how, how I explained. I was, uh, literally how many times I have used so, 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 so. So I thought of decreasing that. So I have a tendency, tendency of using so, so, so that many times. So that's it. Okay. Then, uh, Vaiga. Uh, uh, mine is like, when it comes to anger issues, I, I cannot uh, describe my uh, behavior in three words. I can just say it. So when it comes to my anger issues, I won't get angry so fast. But sometimes I also get. Like, there won't be any particular reason. Like, when people think that I get angry, that time I might not get. And sometimes I don't like some kind of jokes. Yeah, like they try to do jokes, but sometimes uh, I don't get it, I get angry. That's it. And if I get, the problem is that I get angry rarely in my school and all. But the moment I get angry, I might react rudely. Then the another one thing is that after reacting rudely, even I get, I regret for that as well. And again, I ask sorry for that person a thousand times. So that is me. And then uh, I always um, try to <laughs> be happy. Like I try to smile most of the times. And then I am not an extrovert nor an introvert. 
and when it comes to confidence uh, let me say the truth like panishka nitin alufa they might be knowing what happened in my school so even when i think about that even now i get cry because i what spoiled the whole speech like the this first academic year i had the first speech and i spoiled it very well so that was i cannot forget that in my entire life so that's why i never utter a word called uh, confident nervous you know and then uh, uh then also i am foody because when I, in my class like if we sit together i eat from everyone's box more than my box so that is one thing and uh, tanishka can also relate but she won't eat that much but i know and uh, so like she like small a bit foody. and then uh, fear means like okay when it comes to fear i don't i get fear in like social when lot of people are there and i fear, i get nervous to talk in front of them whereas you know fear in like activities like jumping doing that doing this and going to wonderland rides i am not scared in those things i like them so that's about me and if you want to know more you can ask me. that's it okay so okay that was good you we uh, got to know a lot about you so it's okay to it's okay to make mistakes because mistakes are welcome right you no need to get scared because you know anyway it's done so no need to um, you know remember it again you can overcome your fear and you know another one thing like this is to uh, this academic year the previous academic year also when our new principal came i only had the first speech i spoiled their speech so they told that that academic year went very well and even this academic year the starting first speech i got again i spoiled it so next year i won't be there to same speech so that's it. okay so don't need to get scared like it's okay like most of i think all of us will be nervous if there are a lot of people in front of us and when they ask us to say something it's okay to do that uh, because we can overcome it instead of just remember like re- uh, remembering you can just overcome it and one day i think you'll be able to speak in front of many people okay and then mm um, okay arufa you can tell me you have 3 minutes um like uh, like everyone said i am also a type of short uh, short temper like i get anger fast when someone says like when someone comes to fight or speak rude to me like then i to speak rude not every time but when they do i to do that then i become i'm like um i make friends fast and trust them and share everything like all the secrets of mine then later i think that i shouldn't have shared them like that okay so um okay next kiran kiran are you there you didn't speak much right you can unmute yourself now or else anush anush are you there Anush are you there? Okay. So I did I miss anyone? Uh okay. Hamsini? Hamsini? You can you can tell me. You have yeah, I am also short. Two, Everyone two minutes, said I will okay. get more. Yeah. I'll get more anger when someone uh, talk rudely with me or someone will beat me if they one beat me one i will beat them twice or thrice that's when they will stop friendly with me. that's all about me. 
Hmm. Okay. So I think most of the members in my team they are short tempered, isn't it? Most of them. But I thank yeah. you all because you guys remain patient to understand and listen the topics, and then you are patient when you want to teach in the class. And you know, even um, even I am short tempered, but you know, I. Started to be patient because of you guys. Do you know how? I learned to be patient because of you guys. Do you know how? Because how? whenever, whenever I call uh, any learner to tell them that this is their topic, and when I want to help them with certain topic, then you have to remain patient. If you are short tempered, then I think you'll cannot be a very good leader because a leader should be patient and the leader can should understand everyone in their team only then they can help if you're short tempered you know many things you are a genius but you're short tempered you don't want anyone to ask you the doubts again and again if they do so then you will get angry then you cannot be a good instructor I learned that. So whenever someone asks me doubts, the same doubts again and again, and when I want to repeat the same sentences with each of you when I call you, so I think I have to be patient. So if you are if you get angry easily, then you cannot do it. Then you cannot be a good instructor. So you have to remain patient, and only then you can understand your team members, and only then you can be a very good instructor. Okay. Do you guys okay. understand? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not only for Hamsini, okay? It's for everyone because most of you told that you will get angry easily. And also, the last question which I wanted to ask was, and everyone, uh, you have one minute. So you, not each of you. So in within one minute, you guys have to answer. So tell me the difficulty you're facing with this course. Okay, we'll start from Arufa. Only one difficulty you're facing. Like time management. Like sometimes there will be UT, unit test or exams on Saturdays. So like till 7.30, we won't be able to sit and study. Then later after 7.30 or something, we'll be sitting to study. Okay. Then what about Kruti? Yeah, I face no difficulties in this. So are you, are you able to understand everything? Yeah. So will you be the next instructor? Yeah. Oh, so okay. So the first instructor will be from team four. Okay. And then Nitya, any one difficulty you're facing in the course? No, I am not facing any difficulties in course, but on every Friday, I have to miss my this uh, dance classes. Or if I have tuition, then I have to miss that. So that is one problem. Okay, then so that's it. Mm. I think. Then Pranava. Uh, it's uh, quite busy for I'm quite busy, so that it's difficult for me to attend the classes. But I try my best to attend the classes because busy men always have time. So, my mom encourages me to do everything. Okay, so your mom encourages you. Thank you. So, so we'll be having our next instructor, Pranava. So, he'll, he, I think, in the future, even he'll have his own team. And then, um, yeah, okay. So, in future, he you'll be having your own team and your own team member. And you'll be the team leader, right? So, even though you're busy, you still have time. To help other children, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's good. I I know every one of you here, all the learners will be good instructor in the future because uh before in the first two classes you guys were, you know, no, uh, not that active, but when I called you to explain the topics, you all did. So thank you. So you can improve in the same way, but you have to work a bit more, okay? Each week, you can improve a bit. 
and then you can be a good instructor in the future. I think now the breakout rooms are going to close. So you can join the main session, okay? So thank you, everyone. Like lightning. Hello. Mm. Turn on your video and then audio and say hello. And again, you turn off. So this is a lightning game. Okay. Sir. Ah. Actually, the time is short enough. And I can, I did not explain to the students who did, did ah. not present on Wednesday. Yeah, that's a problem. So Wednesday, you have one more class. Okay. Thank you. Today, Amaresh did a very good job. Mm. Okay, everyone, once again, we are playing lightning game. Lightning game is when I call the person's name, within a second, uh, you need to turn on your audio video and say hello. And again, within a second, you need to turn off your audio and video. Now I call N. Hello. Mm, very good. Then why ga? Hello. Very good. Vishnu. Hello. Yeah. Bavia. Hello. Yeah. Nithya. Hello. Arash. Hello. Manasuri. Hello. Again, Nithya. Hello. Yeah. Vinushuna. Vinushuna. Hello. No. Arshad. Hello. Prusivi. Hello. Mm. Samprit. Hello. Mm. Sriman. Sriman. Oh, lost. Angelina. Hello. Very good. And uh, Kim Minji. Hello. Mm, hello. Benika. Hello. Mm. Kampu. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so thank you everyone for your time today and then God bless you and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Sir, I am Srinita. Uh, ah. many, many students are not getting the categories uh, in correct order. Oh. Then I explain about chat GPT, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. Mm. Sir, can we leave the meeting? Huh? Sir, can we leave the meeting? Oh, yes, yes. Everyone, please leave the meeting. Come, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. Bye. Thank you. Pranav, you did a good job. Thank you. Mm, you did a very good job. Mm. Thank you. Srinija, you did the very well today. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Mm, Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.